Araya is desperate to improve her stature. And in her search, she sinks her hooks into a seedy party promoter named Daniel Midas Threadgill. Daniel headed up a group called Five Star Entertainment. His street name was Midas. He would basically go around to clubs and promote for them. Arreo was a party girl. Daniel was a party promoter. It made perfect sense business-wise and perhaps personally for the two of them to hook up. But not everyone wants to party. Jennifer, Araya's nemesis, begins moving in a different direction. She begins to get an education and begins changing her life. Jennifer and Calvin had the plan to open a restaurant together. She was still prostituting and still providing that money to Calvin. But the idea was they were going to leave the game and move forward. And as Jennifer works her way through college classes, hoping to leave the street life behind, Araya's envy reaches a whole new level of toxic. Araya is the kind of person that envied what Jennifer had, envied her looks, envied her relationship with Calvin, envied her money and her success. When she was not treated as the top earner, she took that very personally. On August 28, 2010, a prideful Araya and Daniel throw a wild birthday bash for one of Daniel's party promoters, openly ignoring Calvin's cardinal rule. It was loud, it was raucous, she was living it up, and next door, Jen knew that this woman had been warned not to do this. Jen knew she would have to report this to Calvin because it was a direct violation of his instructions and protocol. Sure enough, Calvin blows his top. He marches over to Araya's apartment and gives her a beating right in front of her boyfriend. What do I gotta do to get through your thick skull that all your partying is bad for business, huh? Relax, Calvin. Why you always gotta be so uptight? What? You hear me? Listen to me, all right? Listen to me. Jennifer is certainly not going to help Araya. But neither does Daniel. You need to get your stuff and get out of here. First of all, if he did, it would only make things worse for Araya. Learn your place. And second of all, Calvin's a lot bigger. There's times when you know what your social role is, then Daniel's social role at that point was to sit back and shut up. Once again, Araya blames it all on Jennifer. And why not? Araya's rival always seems to have the upper hand. It's all coming to a head. Two women, two men. Add large doses of pride, envy, and wrath into the picture, and anything is possible.